Baby Bus. Let's go, Sheriff Labrador. <laughs> Special episode: A major robbery on Oinky Street, Part One. This, uh, this can't be good, Boss. We have a hole in the side of our boat the size of a basketball. What? Move it! Let's find the nearest pierce to row ashore. At night, a battered boat docked near Black Sand Beach by the abandoned harbor of Seashellwood. Several tall crocodiles stepped off the boat, and the one in charge, wearing a black patch over his left eye, gave orders to his henchmen. Ugh. You may he stay here and fix the boat. And you, Buckos, come with me to find some food and drinks. Huh? B -b Boss? <laughs> One of Connor the Crocodile's henchmen scratched his head. We croc raiders easily get lost on land. Uh, that's why we're pirates. Last year, we got lost for days in Forestville, remember? Not only did we not steal anything, but uh, we almost starved to the point of becoming crocodile jerky. I'm, I'm afraid this time. Shut up! Connor's one eye burned with anger. You'd better zip your lip. Connor felt down at the thought of the little food left on board. Yar, it would be nice if a skilled leader would show up. He could lead the way and we could do the robbery. It couldn't be more perfect than that. <sighs> Brat, I'll lead the way, you do the robbery. That sounds perfect to me. <laughs> Suddenly, a voice came from one of the large rocks on Black Sand Beach which frightened the henchman into clutching Connor tightly. B -b boss The rock! The rock can talk! Huh? What's going on here? Soon, they noticed a large lizard lying on the rock. The lizard had changed its color, from blending in with the rock back to its original green color, revealing a head as round as an apple and a body as slim and straight as a stick. <laughs> My name is Lole Bulb, the boss of the lizard family, and I know seashell wood like the back of my hand. I can take you to the richest part of seashell woods if you promise half of what you get when everything is said and done. At night, Oinky Street, the most bustling part of seashell wood, radiated bright and beautiful under the colorful neon lights. Twinkle, twinkle, big diamond, how bright you're shining under the stars. Jem, the Berkshire pig, the owner of a diamond jewelry shop, sang out merrily, holding up a giant diamond bigger than an apple. Golden, golden, my beautiful gold, golden gold will never get old. Arroya, the miniature pig, the owner of a gold jewelry shop, sang out loud, shaking the golden crown resting on her head. Pearl, Pearl, you are my world, love you more than my pig tail. Shell, the Yorkshire pig, the owner of a pearl shop, sang joyfully, sporting several necklaces of pearls the size of cherry tomatoes around her neck. Diamonds! Gold! Pearls! All on discount worth a try! Don't pass up your chance to buy! Once this ship has sailed, you might cry! The three shopkeepers fired confetti cannons together, causing colorful streamers to shower from the sky. The eyes of the customers on Oinky Street lit up like light bulbs when they heard about the sale. Hey, hey, a sale! Time to go shopping! Wait, I wait, I want I, I want gold! Uh, I want diamonds! No one noticed that at the other end of the lively Oinky Street, several figures were watching everything. I wasn't teasing you, was I? This is the richest part of Seashell Wood. Connor, <laughs> when do we make our move? Hmm, hold on. We don't make any moves until these customers have finished their shopping and left. Then the money will all be in the shopkeeper's pockets. That's when we swoop in and rob those three pigs. <laughs>
Good morning, Sheriff Labrador. Good morning. Sheriff Labrador patrolled Seashell Wood as usual the next morning. He passed the lively Meow Lane, the noisy Fuzzy Road, and finally passed near the unusually silent Oinky Street. Hmm, that's strange. Why is Oinky Street so quiet today? Usually at this time, the three shopkeepers have started to sing their jingles to sell their goods. Something is not right. Let me go over there and check it out. Sheriff Labrador arrived at Oinky Street in no time. But the scene made his eyebrows furrow. Uh, what happened? Oinky Street was a mess. Items were tossed about everywhere, as if there had been a tornado. The three shopkeepers, Jem the Berkshire Pig, Oroya the Miniature Pig, and Shell the Yorkshire Pig, well, they were bound and tied up on the side of the road with their mouths taped, unable to speak. Sheriff Labrador immediately rushed forward, untied them, and ripped the tape off their mouths. The three shopkeepers cried out loud and the tears spouted from their sad faces like a bubbling spring. Sheriff Labrador, there were robbers here last night! They took all our money and valuables and they tied us up! You've got to catch them, Sheriff Labrador! A beam of seriousness flashed behind Sheriff Labrador's dark, round eyes. Don't worry. There's no case that I can't solve. I'm going to catch these robbers. I promise. <laughs> <laughs>